Hello everybody and welcome to Lunch and Z Learn today here at Riverbanks Zoo and Garden. We got a great view of the rhinos today so I figured we'd go ahead and start with a rear end view of our two female white rhinos, Condi and Winnie, while you all start to join us live for today's Lunch and Z Learn. They are munching on their lunch too so hopefully you're taking a lunch break whether it's from e-learning from school or maybe from work to join us here live. Oh, hi Stevie, Audrey, Dylan, nice to see y'all tuning in. Let me go ahead and turn this around and say hi everybody. It is great to see you. Of course I wore my rhino mask today because we're not just hanging out with Condi and Winnie. Today is our first time officially meeting Bill. We talked about Bill for the longest time ever since we announced that we were getting rhinos. Bill is now officially our largest resident here at Riverbanks, and he's still in the midst of settling into his new home. But I wanted to jump on, say hi, everybody. Thanks for tuning in live. Christina, Maxim, nice to see you all again. All these old favorites. Here, let me go ahead and peek around the corner again so you can see the rhinos. But today, <laughs> we are going to be not only hanging out a little bit with Condi and Winnie, but we're mainly going to be focusing on Bill, who you can't see right now, not quite yet at least. We'll head over in just a second and go say hi to Mariah, one of our mammal keepers here in the area, and she is going to give us a huge big update on Bill. Hi Faith, hi Jill, nice to see you. Thanks for tuning in, of course. Oh, Stevie, great question. How much do they eat? Pause that question. I'm going to hold it because we need to go on over and check out to see what Mariah is into. She had a big old bucket full of snacks. She was hanging out over though next to Bill. The viewing area is just right over my shoulder, but we are technically behind the scenes. Even though our female rhinos are out on habitat right now, Bill, our male rhino, is kind of, I mean, you can get a sneak peek of him at least. Some people actually have been commenting on our different posts of videos that they see of him peeking around the corner. You see the girls over my shoulder right now. But Bill is still technically behind the scenes as he continues to settle on in here at his new home in Riverbanks. But we're gonna talk with Mariah here in a second and get an update on how he's doing, kind of what is the status update. Oh, both of our girls are behind us right now. But you might have already caught a sneak peek besides the pictures we've shared of Bill because his doorway faces us. Oh, I'm, I'm, get, I'm getting the sneak peek away right now. <laughs> but his doorway faces out on habitat. So you actually might be able to get a glimpse of him during the day. No guarantees, of course, as he continues to settle on in. But I'm actually going to flip around the camera here and give a quick hey to Mariah. Nice to see you, Mariah. And Bill. We have talked so much about Bill for weeks, months, it seems. All right, everybody, you're getting a great view of Bill. Mariah, he is oh so muddy. <laughs> he is not a good coating of mud on him right now. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, actually, quick before we talk about all the mud, Abby was wondering, is Bill much bigger than the other rhinos? Bill is much bigger. Bill is about 11 feet long, and right at that hump at the top of his front shoulder, he's six feet tall. Wow. And his weight is 4,700 pounds in the most recent one. Okay, wait a second. Quite a bit bigger than the girls. Just in case y'all didn't hear that, Bill weighs nearly 5,000 pounds. He's 4,700 pounds. That's huge. That is way bigger than our females. Now, Bill is going to be hanging out here in front of us. You're going to notice kind of the bollards here in front of us. They're very muddy. They're all caked over. This is kind of the spa zone, we could say. It's the, the mud bath area. <laughs> and Bill's going to be hanging out over there. We're, of course, going to say uh, a safe distance back so that way Bill stays nice and comfy. And so that way we're out of the splash zone. Do you see how much mud is churning up? Okay, so Mariah, I've been talking a lot about mud already. What is the importance of all of this mud? So mud serves several purposes for rhinos. Uh, one of the main purposes is to protect their skin from the sunlight. They'll be, they are savanna animals. So there really isn't a lot of shade. Um, <laughs> okay, we're scooting them. over to the side. He almost <laughs> used the bathroom on us. <laughs> um, so that coating 
thing is to help protect it from the sun. It's also to help them keep cool because there also isn't shade. So that mud will help bring their body temperature down, but it also helps keep insects off their back too, like flies. Oh, perfect. So it is really a multi-purpose thing. I'm going to try to zoom in so you can see them a little bit better through our barrier today. So that mud, if you missed it from Mariah, is kind of like a sunblock, cools down the animals. A lot of animals do the same kind of thing. But I will say, as far as Riverbanks residents are concerned, the rhinos have perfected it. The females have made their own big mud wallow. And Bill, here, let me zoom back a little bit. In this behind the scenes area, this whole area right here is one big mud pit. And with all the rain that we've been getting and will be getting this week, this is a dream come true if you're a rhino. <laughs> <laughs> and he moved his mud pit over there. It was away from the doors and he dug a trench so the water would run over there because that's where he wants his wallow to be. That is so funny. Okay, so I'm going to assume he wants his wallow to be over there. He's spending a lot of time hanging out in it. He is. Oh, check him out. Wow, he is so much bigger than the females. I know it might be hard to tell when we're on camera today, especially because we don't have them side by side. They haven't officially met and shared a space yet, but he is Big. Trying to get his log out of there. Oh, look at him. <laughs> well, and the reason why he wants that mud wallow over there, I'm going to go ahead and pan over quick past Bill. If you notice over here, I'm going to kind of point, this is the rhino habitat. So this is where you can see them out on public. There's public viewing right over there where I'm pointing, which means that this is the best view where he can see his new lady friends. How has that been going, Mariah? Tell us how... He's been settling in and kind of all the steps involved with making sure he's comfortable. So the first step is just from seeing each other inside the barn. So they didn't share a barrier. Like out here, they do share a barrier. They can touch each other. They can put their head through the bars and they've been showing positive interactions all throughout. We're going at their pace, waiting for them to give us the signals that they're getting comfortable with the next step before we proceed to the next one. So right now they've had access to each other for I believe over a week now, I've lost track of time. Um, <laughs> but they're showing a lot of positive interactions with each other. Uh, Winnie, especially, she's a younger rhino, so she's still learning how to read rhino body language, and she's learning a lot from Condi. Condi is kind of teaching her how she needs to interact with Bill, and when Bill wants some alone time, he tells them, and they walk away, which is exactly what we want to see. Well, and that's so funny that you mentioned kind of them walking away, deciding when they want to hang out near him. Because Bill is out here, he's in behind the scenes technically, he does still have other areas that he can go in. He's hanging out here in front of us, but he has access to other areas, correct? Yes. So he can go into the barn if he'd rather, or hang out with us in this very muddy area. And the same is true for the girls too. They can go hang out further down the yard if he's getting on their nerves or if, you know, something is more interesting to them, maybe a snack, they can choose to be somewhere else, of course all about that choice as animals are getting all settled in. Now you might notice we're kind of scooching to the side a bit mainly because male rhinos this is not where we want to stand. <laughs> and I'll just, I'm going to say it like it is lunch and Z learners. I'm sorry if you're eating your lunch right now. This might not be the most appetizing thing to hear. Rhinos are a pretty messy animal. Not only with the mud but also with their dung piles that we've talked about before but also with how they scent mark and mark their territory. Tell us more about that because we kind of are in the splash zone, aren't we? Yes. So to mark their territory, rhinos spray um, pretty much basically urine in Ugh. various locations. <laughs> his, his big tell that he's going to spray is he'll drag his back feet as he's taking a couple steps, but sometimes it's hard to tell in the mud if that's what <laughs> he's doing. <laughs> so you definitely want to be careful if his backside's facing you. You are definitely in the splash zone. And when we say splash zone, I mean, it's, it's a spray. I mean, it really is like a, a garden hose spray of urine. I know that might be TMI, but, you know, here at Riverbanks with Lunch and Z-Learn, we just got to tell you like it is. And that's a fun rhino fact because obviously that's important for rhinos. That's how they communicate. And why would he be scent marking anyway, Mariah? He wants to let any other male rhino that could be in the area know that this is his territory and that... He's interested in those females potentially. So he wants to make sure that other rhinos in the area know that this is his. Absolutely. Well, and fingers crossed that he doesn't do it in our direction today because <laughs> we are pretty close to him. Stevie though has a great question from just a bit ago. Stevie was wondering how rough is their skin? Um, the most part of their skin is pretty rough. Um, underneath their legs and behind their ears is actually very soft. Oh, interesting. Yes. 
those more scent, like thinner layers of skin are softer, like up behind their ears, very, very soft, and under their legs and underneath their chin is soft too. Now, do our rhinos like to get scratches from our keepers? They do. They like to have tactile interaction with keepers. Um, again, you need to be able to read their body language sure. and know if they're interested in that or not. Um, they always walk away if they're not quite into it. Um, Winnie likes to be scratched a lot. Sometimes you scratch her belly and she flops right over. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay, I had to zoom in. I'm sorry, that was probably super gross for all of you. He was just <laughs> scent marking a second ago. Sorry, Mariah. I, I got a perfect view of it. I wanted to zoom in. Like I said, y'all are getting the full experience here. <laughs> Oh, and also, uh, since Mariah was talking about scratching the rhinos, you notice that there's a barrier between us and them. Our keepers don't go in with our rhinos. They don't share space with them. It's just like with our other dangerous animals, it's protected contact. And that doesn't necessarily mean that we can't necessarily scratch them through the barriers. Um, but today, on the wall over I was going to say, here, let's scooch over so we can maybe get a little bit better of a view kind of in this muddy area here, since Bill's hanging out right here in front. I might have just sunk into the, <laughs> the mud myself. Great question though, Stevie, thanks for asking. I believe, Stevie, you asked earlier though, how much food do the rhinos eat every day? Do you have an estimation for kind of what does their diet look like? How much, what are they eating? Uh, split between the three of them, if you wanna back up this way. Yep. You, if he turns fast, you're gonna get a tidal wave of mud. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, I'm glad you're looking out yeah. for me. <laughs> um, so between the three of them, they're eating about two and a half to three bills of hay their consumption changes daily and depending yep. on what their appetite is. So we monitor that closely. Um, they eat Timothy hay um, mainly, and then they get and get some snacks. So I have some alfalfa here. Ooh. This is oh, one delicious. of Bill's favorite snacks. And then we have some other grain, which is wild herbivore plus. They like that for a snack too. The girls particularly prefer this over the alfalfa and really? other snacks. Yes. Oh, that's so interesting. Okay, so they definitely do have preferences. Oh, yes. it was really hard to see, but right through this little crack in the barrier, one of our females was walking down, so maybe they're going to do a nose-to-nose -nose interaction. We'll see. But we'll give them space. We obviously want the rhinos to do their rhino thing. And even though Bill has been here now for weeks getting all settled in, we still take things at animal pace. So those of you who might be wondering, well, when can we officially meet him and when does he officially meet the girls? We don't have an answer for that. Every day changes. Just like you might have ups and downs or you might be really excited about something and then something might make you a little more nervous. Same is true for animals. And we want everybody, especially these three, to be nice and confident and comfortable before we do a whole big introduction with everybody as one big group. But Mariah, tell us, since we're kind of in the midst of all of this transition and settling in, what's the ultimate goal? The ultimate goal would be for all three of them to be together all day outside. Um, and then they are recommended to breed with a species survival plan. So hopefully they'll like each other. They'll breed and we'll have baby rhinos here in the next few years. Absolutely. Well, and since you mentioned that, I got to give a shout out to anybody who's tuning in from Rochester, New York. Bill came to us from Seneca Park up there, a bit up north. Oh, here comes our girls. They're coming down over here. <laughs> there was a big old pile of alfalfa here a second ago. But shout out to anybody from Seneca Park. Bill is settling in well into his new home. We know all of you are craving all of those different updates with Bill and how he's doing in his new home. But like Mariah said, he actually came to us for a breeding recommendation to be a part of a new herd here at Riverbanks. So he'll be our one and only male rhino to join Condi and Winnie. Fingers crossed, they'll be a cohesive herd but don't hold your breath on baby rhinos. Gestation period is a long time. In fact, I can't even remember off the top of my head. Do you remember how long it is? 18 to 22 months. 18 to 22 months. <laughs> Y'all, I have to laugh. He Mariah was not kidding. Too. He got, okay, he got you too. Cause yeah. I was gonna say, I got, oh, I got mud all over my mask too. Okay, did you get mud on your mask too? On my face, oh geez, yeah. Louise. We we're, I told you we were in the splash zone. I was not fooling around. <laughs> We're gonna scoot back just a little bit, so that yeah. way Bill has his personal room. We can step outside. And <laughs> oh, actually, that's a great we'll idea. Go we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna follow Mariah as we kind of dry our, our muddiness. Since the girls came down, we're gonna go check out to see what these two lovely ladies are up to. Since Bill is obviously very preoccupied with his mud bath. Here, let's turn it around. This is where the girls are right now. Okay, correct me. Is this Condi here in front of us? This is Condi. Okay, so Condi in front, and then Winnie on the left. 
Oh, so we're gonna have a quick little snack. And here, let me actually back up because I know y'all are really curious. This is how they're meeting. This is Bill over here on the right. Girls are on the left. There's a barrier in between. The gates are closed. They can open them for the girls to come into the barn. But this is what we were talking about when they're having that nose to nose interaction. So the girls can meet Bill and vice versa. So this is where Bill decided to have his big mud wallow in the splash zone. Gonna remember that for next time. <laughs> Well, it's so great to hear that all three of the rhinos are doing so well. They're all settling in. I mean, we're hopeful that everything is going well. Like I said, it's all going to be at animal pace. But I might have missed a few different questions. I apologize. We got a little bit of mud everywhere, everybody. So I might have skipped over a few different questions here and there. But don't worry. I'm going to jump on our captions later today, answer some of those things that you might be curious about with our rhinos or with Bill specifically. So thank you all for tuning in live. We're gonna leave you with a bit of a view on our rhinos here, but I wanna go ahead and turn around the camera quick and give a thank you to Mariah. Of course, we couldn't have done it without Mariah. Have a great day. I'm so glad that everybody joined us live. Mariah brought all the snacks. Hopefully you are all eating lunch as you tune in too. Our girls are wondering if what's in the bucket <laughs> right here. I know her a snack and she oh, said she's, no. She's not interested. Oh, and by the way, while I'm down oh, here, I got to show off Mariah's socks. She even wore her rhino socks today just for our live feature. So we are all decked out. I got the mask on. Mariah has the socks on. We are all about the rhinos here. And I will say, we're going to keep all of you updated on our social media channels on how Bill is doing. How's he settling in? Has he met the girls yet? Has he explored the outside habitat? We'll give you all the updates. I promise. But be patient. We're being patient as all of our animals settle in, get nice and comfortable in their new home with their new herd. So continue to tune in on all of our social media channels. And thanks, everybody, <laughs> so much for tuning in live today. It looks like somebody was not interested in sharing their lunch today. Connie was, <laughs> but she doesn't want to share it. <laughs> I love it. Well, thanks, everybody, so much for tuning in live. Join us next week as we explore into the aquarium behind the scenes. We're actually going to dive into one of our largest saltwater habitats. So join us noon next Wednesday, of course, for our next Lunch and Z Learn. Thanks so much, everybody, and have a great day.